<laughs> Can you please introduce yourself? Yes, hi, I'm Leo Lingleo. I'm half German, half Chinese, and I'm currently a freshman at Tsinghua University. Hi, I'm Cherry Chen Yingxi. I'm an Indonesian international student, and I'm majoring economics, and I'm a year two sophomore. Hi, my name is Ifma Oyang and I'm from Mongolia and I'm currently attending Tsinghua University, a sophomore majoring in economics and finance. Which high school did you go to? Um, I went to a high school in Germany called Schule Schloss Salem and it's a private boarding school that offers the international baccalaureate curriculum. I went to the number 5 high school. It's one of the prestigious high schools in Indonesia. It ranked like around 14 based on national exam scores in Indonesia. And yeah, it's a private high school and it's famous for its leadership development programs and also academic excellence. So I went to one of the best public schools in Mongolia and the name of our school is Mongol Aspiration. And our school offered Cambridge curriculum, which I believe is to be the British equivalent of IB and AP programs. What GPA did you have for maybe class rank? Yeah, so when I applied, I had predicted 45 out of 45, so that would translate into, I think, a 4.0, and in the class rank, that would be 1, yeah. My GPA in high school was 91.69 um, over 100. So our school had an unweighted GPA ranking system, and throughout high school, I thankfully managed to hold a GPA of 3.8, and I graduated high school with uh, a 4.0 and I walked away with a balanced touring award. Did you take any international exams? Maybe SAT, TOEFL, HSK? No? No? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay. Oh uh, yeah, I took the HSK exam. I took HSK 6 and got 268 over um, 300. And I took the HSKK advance, which is the speaking test, and I got like 87 over 100. Uh, yes, for international exams, I've taken IELTS, HSK, and SAT. Did you get any awards? Maybe something special? Um, yeah, so I did a lot of debate and, and co in school, so debate, MUN, public speaking competitions, and I got like, yeah, I got a few international awards during those. I also did some more academic stuff like Ethics Ball, FBLA, NEC, that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, I won uh, several competitions related to Mandarin and English, like speech competition, storytelling and dubbing competition, and also others like content creation and scientific paper writing competition. So ever since primary school, I've always been participating in a lot of mathematics and science olympiads, and that continued up until high school where I was participating in international mathematics olympiads such as SASMO and SAMOC competitions related to business and finance where you would pitch a business with team members or it could be economics olympiads, etc. I've been to an MUN conference organized by Harvard University back in 2019 and I've won the Honorable Mentions Award. What were your extracurricular activities? So something beyond just academics? Ooh, I did a lot of things in high school. Um, I, did, I was the organizer of our school's TEDx event, and a lot of sustainability stuff. So I was on the student council, the sustainability council, and I was like networking or like um, communicating with the school on how to make school more sustainable. Um, I was like head of you know the feminist magazine, from feminist issues on our, like global social issues, we talked about like wars, social justice, and all that. And yeah, just like a lot of fun stuff. Oh, I joined soccer. Um, debating, public speaking, and modern dance, but mostly I'm deeply involved in student council activities. And I took upon diverse roles like as project manager, team leader, um, producer, also advertising team, like publishing team, and so on. So my most proud activity, uh, I'll start with that, is a TEDx talk. TEDx speech that I delivered in my senior year of high school and it was basically about the unhealthy relationship that was forming between humans and technology. Another significant activity that helped my personal growth the most was model United Nations conferences. And other type of activities include a bunch of volunteering projects and a bunch of competitions. And also I was a class president which meant that I had to that I was responsible for organizing many different activities for the sake of my 
class and my school. In your own opinion, why do you think you got into Chi Hall? I think while my application was somewhat holistic, I think I really shown starting through the academic side, right? I think I'm someone who has, I think the word they love is like intellectual vitality, and I was like, I'm genuinely passionate about like the things I studied, you know, like politics, economics, philosophy, and I did a lot of it in high school, and so I just demonstrated that passion, and I really, I think connected with like the interviewers, you know, because they were asking you about like the books you read and like academic questions, what do you think about them? And not only I was, I was I passionate, I think doing debate means you also have a certain like eloquency and communication that, yeah, I think helped me, you know, get a bond with the interview officer and, you know, see quite an academic school and not me. Um, personally, I think even though I don't have like an area that I'm really good at, but I always try to do my best in things that I do, of course, passionately and genuinely, and that's why I try to show to So I guess that's why Tsinghua decided to give me an opportunity to maximize my potential here and um, so that I can greater contribute to people around me and to society. And now that I'm here, I guess that's what I strive to do. Well, personally, I think that good scores and excellent exam grades do matter a lot. But for me personally, what I think significantly also contributed to me being admitted to Tsinghua was that the category of my